Russian troops have lost at least five service people for every Ukrainian soldier killed defending Donetsk Oblast Bakhmut, CNN reported on March 6, citing an unnamed NATO military official. The official told CNN that the 5 to 1 ratio was an estimation based on the alliance's intelligence, adding that Ukraine has also suffered significant losses on the Bakhmut front line. The battle for Bakhmut, a city in Ukraine's eastern Donbas region, has been raging for the past seven months. The Russian military is attempting to increase its grip over the entirety of Donetsk Oblast, around half of which it currently occupies. The commander of the ground forces of Ukraine, Colonel General Oleksandr Sirsky, said on March 6 that the tensions surrounding Bakhmut had peaked as Russia threw even more Wagner mercenary forces onto the battlefield. Sirsky added, however, that the Ukrainian military in Bakhmut inflicted significant losses on the enemy, destroyed a large number of vehicles, forced Wagner's best assault units to fight, and reduced the enemy's offensive potential. According to the UK Defence Ministry, the Russian army and Wagner Group mercenaries have recently advanced into the northern suburb of Bakhmut, which is now a Ukrainian-held salient, vulnerable to Russian attacks on three sides. The Ukrainian military said on March 2 that the option to withdraw from Bakhmut is on the table, but such a decision will only be made if it is absolutely necessary. Ukrainian infantrymen recently told the Kyiv independent of unprepared, poorly trained battalions being sent to the front line to survive as best they could with little support from armored vehicles, mortars, artillery, drones, and tactical information. According to the Institute for the Study of War, it is premature to assess the Ukrainian army's intentions of leaving Bakhmut, an almost abandoned city which has been an epicenter of intense fighting in the Donetsk region. Ukrainian forces are likely to be engaged in a limited tactical withdrawal from the city's eastern part. According to the ISW experts, Ukraine continues to suffer high but not excessive losses against the advancing mixed Russian troops. At the same time, Kyiv's resolute determination to defend Bakhmut remains strategically sound because it depletes Russia's manpower and military equipment, the ISW noted. According to the ISW, the Russian offensive is likely to come to a halt irrespective of the future of Bakhmut. The advance will stall due to significant losses near Vuladere, Donetsk region. Moreover, Russia's major offensives in the Kapyansk, Sawataway, and Kremina directions are failing to generate any significant successes on the front lines. Earlier, spokesperson for the Ukrainian Army's East Group of Forces Serhii Cherevati told National TV that Ukrainian troops were still in Bakhmut to defend the city. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.